that's me. Hi everyone and welcome to another video. This one is a little bit different in that I'm working well outside my comfort zone with lots of resin and not an awful lot of room for error, although I do make a few errors as you will see. Um, I'm starting off here with uh, the Hot Wire Foam Factory's 3 inch knife, um, which they were kind enough to send me. Um, and I have to say, again, it's another fabulous bit of kit. Makes cutting um, holes in foam like this, vertical cuts, very, very easy. Um, don't apply too much pressure to the blade, you don't have to. Um, um, you just uh, a light sawing motion um, assists the, the, the cut. Um, I wasn't after anything too clean here, though you can get some very clean cuts. Now I'm using Styragoo by the Hot Wire Foam Factory as well, again which they sent me. Um, this creates a very uh, good bond uh, between foam pieces, um, but it also is cuttable with the hot wire tools if it's in a thin enough layer. I don't need to cut this, I'm just putting a base on the bottom of my, my hole here. Um, and then I'm starting to fill it with sculptor mould to sculpt the edges of the pool. Uh, again, I apply the sculptor mould fairly thickly. Um, you've got a short time before it starts going off. Um, but I don't, again, I don't want it to be too smooth for this. Um, and then I'm just adding lips to the hole there. If you look at the Morning Glory pool, it's in Yellowstone Park. Um, you can see that it has uh, an interesting uh, shape under the surface, uh, the rocks. It looks like it goes on forever. Um, and now I'm just creating a little bit of a lip there around the edge so that when I pour the resin, um, it doesn't go tumbling off the edge and it's contained rather neatly. Now this is acrylic uh, paint. These are actually by Vallejo and they're their airbrush paints. So they've got a little bit of resin in there. Um, it makes them dry very... Uh, a bit glossier really, um, but they go quite a long way. A little goes a long way. You don't have to water this down to get quite a lot of coverage. Um, and I build up uh, layers, starting with black, um, black brown, uh, no, sorry, black blue, and then a little bit more blue, and then a little bit of yellow to bring the green in. Because this pool is an absolutely mesmerizing color. It actually used to be um, kind of blue. Uh, which was why it was called the Morning Glory. I think it was named after a, a flower. It looked like a, a pale blue flower. Don't know, look it up. Anyway, over the years, it's kind of um, almost degraded. It, it, the sulfur in the pool has reacted, I guess, and um, it's created this unbelievable color, which I actually prefer. It's kind of uh, very dark in the center. Then it goes this unbelievable kind of luminous greens and yellows and reds uh, around the outside and I used a bit of rust pigment there to uh, around the edge to give it that real rusty look um, and then this is Vallejo textured uh, paint this is desert sand which is very yellow it doesn't quite show up in this footage but it's actually very very yellow it's got a very fine sandy texture to it and I just pressed it down to, uh, as it was drying with the cocktail uh, with a lolly stick um, to make it flatter now crystal clear epoxy resin this is by cfs here in the uk it's very good stuff uh my first little mistake coming up i mixed this far too quickly um and it got a lot of bubbles in it and also i decided for some reason to tint this bit yellow i don't know why i was kind of just a touch of yellow i, I, I don't know why i was experimenting i thought maybe it would make it slightly the, the, give a better impression of depth maybe it would kind of eliminate some of the slightly less fine details in the bottom anyway there you can see i was hitting it like crazy to get rid of the bubbles um, and i was going at it with a short burst of a soldering torch to burst the bubbles as well. And I didn't manage to get all of them. Um, so the next few layers, I poured much shallower uh, layers. And there's me just emphasizing how 
um, and when I'm using the torch that it can create a bit of smoke um, and the odd flame so just be really really careful when you do it um, just just touch the, the flame not even don't even touch the flame to the surface just the heat will do it the heat from the flame you don't want to overdo it it will cause a massive reaction uh, and your resin will get hot and it will bubble and it will ruin your model um, so the thinner layers I did I got managed to get rid of the bubbles thereafter um, and uh, so so just when you look very deep into this pool um, there are the, the bottom layer of resin you can see has still got some bubbles in it which is a, a shame but then you know maybe the actual pool has some in there I don't know you don't really notice it but it's just a shame that they're there um, and he I brought it right up to the lip and around the the, uh, the pool you've got these salty deposits around the edge of the real pool you can see how shiny it is there there was me doing a little animation to, um, to highlight that I really like this it's reflecting the sky it's beautiful I'm glad I did this during the day now these salty deposits around the edge I used a Vallejo um, snow paste there you could just use white acrylic I suppose this is a pre-watered down Mod Podge. I say pre-watered, I've just, it's an old tub of Mod Podge and it had a bit in the bottom and I just watered it down. Um, because now I'm just going to apply that around the edge and then put some Woodland Scenics Fine Turf. Now uh, this is, what colour is this? Earth, I think. Um, and again, this was just because I was looking at the photos of the pool and uh, this is what it looks like. <laughs> so uh, isopropyl alcohol to as a wetting agent and then some scenic glue uh, to uh, hold that in place. And then some six inch grass, static grass tufts and then a bit of weathering powder and boom, we're done. It's quite a short video. Um, I was pleased with how it turned out. There were a few bubbles left on the surface that you can see, but the sense of depth is, is exquisite. I was very happy with it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.